When iPadOS 16 was announced, one of the biggest new features was Stage Manager. This will give users the ability to open up multiple apps up at once in a true multi-window experience. The windows were able to be resized and dragged around, and it felt like a pretty good compromise between the split screen mode that we had on iPadOS beforehand and the multitasking that you get on macOS. The problem is that feature was only limited to M1 iPads because Apple said the experience just would not have been good on a non-M1 iPad. Well, that all changed today as Apple has officially released the 10th beta of iPadOS 16, and with this comes Stage Manager to all iPad Pro models from 2018 and 2020, and then obviously the M1 that already had it. Apple initially said that Stage Manager was only able to offer the ideal experience on an M1 iPad, but in a statement today, the company said that it was able to figure out a way to bring Stage Manager to iPad Pro models using the A12Z and A12X chips. These iPads can use Stage Manager on device, but will not have access to the external display integration with multi-display support. Actually, Apple has removed external display support from 16.1 altogether. Apple giveth, Apple taketh away. The good news is external support will return later this year, but it will continue to be an M1 iPad only feature. So just to be clear, Stage Manager will work on iPad Pros 2018, 2020, and M1 models along with the M1 iPad Air, but only the M1 iPads will have the full implementation with external displays. So as far as how well Stage Manager works on a non-M1 iPad, honestly, I have it up and running on this 2018 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and I think it works just as well as it did on an M1 iPad Pro. So we'll go ahead and open up a few applications. And as you can see here, this is the 2018 version and it's working just fine. Here's my M1, it works the same way. You can find all the apps that you might need. You can have different app pairings up to four at one time, which I do right now. And I can go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm gonna add music to this Safari one and then I'm gonna bring the shelf out here and add HomeKit to it, and then the calendar. And so here you see I have four going, and it works pretty seamlessly. I'm not noticing any real hiccups. Occasionally, at times, it is a little bit slower when kind of switching between different app pairings and bringing out the shelf. It's a little bit of a stutter. I don't know if that's necessarily the processor or the beta, but you know, most of what I've been doing recently since this came out earlier today has just been testing this uh, in comparison to what I already had on the M1. And honestly, because I said it's been getting so much better throughout the last few months, I haven't really noticed any huge hiccups on this. It, it seems to be working very fluidly, and I like that I can switch between everything just as I would on the M1, and I I've, I've really haven't noticed that many hiccups. I do feel pretty confident that you won't be able to notice much of a difference when testing out Stage Manager on an older non-M1 iPad Pro, but of course, I'd love to hear from you, and if you've had any issues, if you've been testing it today, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know how many of you have rushed out there to get the beta, but I would say this 10th beta, again, we're in 10 betas, so if you're worried about bugs, I wouldn't be. I think a lot of them have been ironed out. Now, I don't know for sure how it's gonna be throughout time with the 2018 and the older processor, but as of right now, first impressions, it's been very, very good. Uh, occasionally, you'll get this bug right here where you get, you know, settings. <laughs> and so here's a live look at that. You know, that's not what it's supposed to look like, but um, every so often that'll happen. But for the most part, it's been really good. And so um, I've been impressed. And so I'm hoping this will continue. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Stage Manager coming to the non-M1 iPad Pros. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.